Well, an American photographer living in South Africa is capturing the country's stark inequalities through drone imagery. Viewers Emma Courtright spoke to him via Skype. In his project, Unequal Scenes, Johnny Miller uses a drone to capture Cape Town's inequality from above. I don't think you can live in Cape Town and not be aware that there's inequalities that exist here. Uh, when you drive in from the airport, you see the shacks on the side of the road. If you are an observant citizen at all, you'll see that there's vast inequalities in people's lived lives here and experiences and opportunities. When Johnny Miller bought a drone eight months ago, he was immediately struck by the device's ability to alter people's perspectives on their familiar surroundings. Such a powerful tool. I thought it was a toy, but it's actually this really powerful tool that you can use to change people's perspectives on things they always thought they knew what it looked like. Miller's project, Unequal Scenes, has garnered international attention. Though the bulk of Miller's project focuses on South Africa, he acknowledges that inequality is not unique to the nation. Miller has used his drone to photograph Nairobi and Mexico City. The reason why this project has gotten so much global attention, I think, is because it speaks to much more than just racial disparities. It talks to how there's entire uh, classes of people being disenfranchised through our economic systems, and through the ways we construct our cities to benefit corporations. Using South African census data, Miller was able to research where his drone might capture the most striking images. Miller's photography depicts Cape Town's methodical use of roads, train tracks, and rivers as tools for segregation. You can look at maps, and I found these maps that show where people live, racially where people live, and it's very distinct. And I've also found maps that show how much people earn. And it's also very distinct, and those maps correlate to a high degree. So when you talk about economic disenfranchisement or terms like white privilege, that's really what I'm talking about. Miller's photos are representative of a nation that, as he says, is thirsty to self-analyze. Over two decades after the end of apartheid, inequality is still rampant in South Africa. The photos that I took seem to have captured some sort of zeitgeist tapped into some sort of passion that South Africans are feeling right now about how their country hasn't progressed as far as they thought it would have 22 years after the fall of apartheid. So if you're asking me, did I expect to see what I saw? Yes. Did I expect the reaction? No. For VOA News, I'm Emma Courtright, Washington.